Here's an example peer review checklist template that can be used for perspective-based reviews. It's intended to be customized as needed, so consider it a starting point. Before the review starts, the code needs to compile clean with extensive warning checks. If there are any unresolved warnings, then it's not time for a peer review yet, those should be resolved. Then, during the review, reviewer number one looks at a few lines of code at a time, and for each set of lines of code, considers the following items. Going down the list, are the comments appropriate? Is the style consistent and in keeping with the style guidelines? Is there proper modularity? Are there no orphan code segments? Are there improper use of conditional expressions? Are parentheses used properly to avoid ambiguity and operator precedence? And are the switch statements structured properly? Some of these items might be able to be checked by static analysis, and to the degree that your static analysis tools support that, it's okay to take those items off this list and replace them with other items that matter to you. The reviewer should not be spending time redoing something a tool can do, but not all development environments support really robust static analysis, so these are on a list just to make sure the basics are covered. As reviewer one is looking at a handful of lines of code and going down the first seven items, reviewer two is looking at the next set of items. Reviewer number two is asking, is there a single point of exit from each function? Does the looping structure make sense? Does the code avoid deeply nested conditionals? Is the complexity of the code acceptable? Has the use of macros been reduced, minimized, or even completely eliminated? Is there an avoidance of the use of magic numbers, constant values embedded in the code that should instead be defined as named constants? Is strong data typing used to the extent that is appropriate? And do all the variables have well-chosen names and are they initialized at or near definition and again, the initialization is something your tool might be able to handle for you. At the same time, on the same chunk of code, reviewer number three is asking yet another set of questions. Reviewer number three is looking at whether or not the variables and functions have the minimum scope and essentially no global variables, whether concurrency issues have been addressed, whether input parameters have been checked, whether error handling works, whether exceptions such as null pointers, division by zero, null strings, boundary conditions have all been handled properly, whether there are any floating point issues, especially with not a numbers and infinities, and buffer overflows. All reviewers also think about does the code match the detailed design, and is the code as simple, obvious, and easy to review as possible. This checklist is designed for three reviewers. If only two reviewers are available, then the checklist can be split in half. Using this list helps you get breadth of coverage. If all three reviewers use a different portion of the checklist, they'll have a better, broader perspective and therefore are more likely to find defects in the code during the review process.